Hello, and you join me here at the popular dogging location of Shillito Woods in the Peak District, where I thought I'd give you a daytime walk around of my latest acquisition, my 2005 facelift Freelander One, known as Boo. The Pathfinder project, a project for a small Land Rover, had been on the books for quite a while, but finances had never allowed it. At least until British Aerospace came along and threw 150 million quid in the pot. And what became to be known as the Freelander became a reality. The Freelander is now an object of some derision, but we forget that at the time it was a great success. During the first five years of production, the Freelander was the best-selling 4x4 in the UK. It featured no fewer than 16 genuinely groundbreaking innovations, including the patented hill descent system, which became common across a variety of other vehicles. However, the original Freelander was very, how can I put it, rovery. Build quality was, in parts, questionable. The 1.8 K-series engine was, well, head gasket failure was not exactly unknown. The L-series diesel unit was dependable and practical, but somewhat agricultural. And the V6, whilst being an excellent unit, was somewhat costly to maintain with no fewer than three cam belts. But then BMW came along and bought Land Rover and some of these issues were addressed. And ultimately in 2004, Freelander had a facelift. The nose became much more discovery-like. The seats which used to crumble and fall apart in pre-facelift Freelanders were replaced with more hard-wearing and durable options. The aging and dated switchgear was replaced and made more modern. Useful interior touches were added, like these cup holders. The instrument cluster was replaced with a much more modern looking and stylish example. And whilst many elements would be no stranger to Rover owners, like this mirror switch, these Rover 800 stalks, these steering wheel stereo controls, and even this gear knob. Ford's influence also came to bear. This stereo unit will be instantly recognisable to anybody who owned a Mark V Fiesta of the time. But let's talk about this specific Freelander, my Freelander. She's a 2005 facelift model on an 05 plate. She's a TD4, meaning that she's fitted with the BMW M47 2 litre turbo diesel engine, rather than the previously fitted venerable L series Rover units. And she is a range topping HSE model. So what does that mean? Well, for starters, it means she has a full ventilated leather interior. A massive step up from the interiors of the pre-facelift. She has an electric tilt and slide sunshine roof. She has air conditioning and heated seats, driver, and passenger. Parking sensors. Electric windows all around. And of course, a much loved feature of all Freelanders, the retractable rear door window. Lovely. The stereo unit is actually a six stack CD, but the stacking takes place internally rather than having a, an external unit. 
and is the full Harman Kardon surround sound system with speakers literally everywhere. And if we move to the boot, where you can see another feature, watch the window as I begin to open the handle. In the cubby hole, which stores the tools, but usually nothing else, you will find an absolutely mahoosive Harman Kardon subwoofer. Feel the base. that are rather stylish 17 inch alloy wheels, which on this are in pretty good nick. And while she doesn't have matching tires all round, they are matching tires on each axle. Here on the rear, we have Kumo this side, and again on this side. And on the front, and the other side. Now, being an 18-year-old utilitarian car, it's obviously not without its issues. But I think you'd agree, she looks pretty straight and respectable, and that's before I've really validated her. Front fog lights, naturally. Now, she has a good few miles on the clock, but she's got an exceptional service history. This car has been very well looked after, although it has had a hard working life on a farm and it's had a lot of money spent on it recently. Let's have a listen to the old engine, shall we? Barely running. Let's have a look under the bonnet. Nice and clean. New battery literally just fitted. So, what's it like to drive? Well, really, it's the full Land Rover experience. The remarkable thing about it is that from outside, it looks like what it really is a relatively compact SUV. But when driving it, you feel as if you're actually in a much bigger car. You sit high, the driving position is commanding, and you look out over what appears to be a vast and imposing bonnet. It's very much the feeling that you get when you're driving a Discovery or Range Rover. And it's rather pleasant. And despite being a very, very capable off-road 4x4 on the road, it behaves very much like a car. And that's good. It's a surprisingly easy and pleasant driving experience. All-round visibility is superb, and the cabin is light, spacious, and airy. The clutch is feather light. The gear change is positive. The steering is as light as you would want it to be, with plenty of feel, very positive. And this might seem like an odd thing to pick up on, but the pedals are in the right place. I'm often amazed by how many cars have got the pedals just in the wrong place. I mean, not swapped round so that the accelerator is where the brake should be, but just not, not helpfully spaced out or with the uh, sitting too high or, or not properly placed so that you can easily drive the car wearing big winter boots, for example.
The M47 power unit develops an absolutely thundering amount of torque, but within quite a confined um, rev band. There's about um, there's about 12 to 1400 revs of really thumping torque. And whilst on paper the car is quite tardy in terms of acceleration, it certainly doesn't feel it on the road. And it's a surprisingly relaxed and competent tourer at motorway speeds. I drove this car back to the Peak District from South Wales and it was a walk in the park. So there we have it, my 2005 facelift Freelander 1 HSE. A car of which I'm already inordinately fond and which I envisage staying part of the Boaties World Fleet for a long, long time to come. Thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Well done, boo.